support community. This is Maria Ojas Castro, artist and foodie, bringing you um, some fun recipes that are nutritious and delicious. This recipe, what I'm gonna first make is rosemary white bean soup. It's good for constipation, sore mouth, and unintentional weight loss. But you know what else it's good for? It is good for when you have your sisters coming over to visit your new house in an art studio on a fall day. So come on over and see what we're cooking. So, oh, it is ready. Getting hot in here. So you're going to need a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna use, um, or vegetable oil, but I'm gonna use olive oil. Just be careful. You saw behind me was smoking a little bit. Olive oil starts to um, burn more quickly than vegetable oil. One, cho one chopped onion. I'm gonna use red onion. I'm just a real fan of the red onions. When you um, saute them, they get nice and sweet. Use whatever onion you have. You'll need one chopped carrot. I don't have one chopped carrot. Who have, Who buys just one carrot? But I have a bag of baby carrots, so I'll chop up a few of those. One stalk of celery and um, the rest of the celery, after I use that, I'm gonna um, make a nice snack with it. Uh, because I have uh, adult sons. I don't know if they don't like the soup, but you'll find out. Um, let's see, also need two cloves of garlic and um, four cups of reduced sodium chicken broth or vegetable broth. I'm going to use bone broth. It just has a little bit more protein in it. And I don't use redu reduced salt. Um, but if you watching your blood pressure, use redu reduced salt. But if, you have, if you're having difficulty eating and your taste buds aren't happy, it's okay to use the regular bo um, bone broth or um, chicken broth. Also needs one sprig of rosemary and I actually found some rosemary in my old garden. Um, actually, my new garden. It's not set up yet. You're gonna see the, um, the pro progress of my garden over the next year, but there's a lot of weeds and some random stuff, and I found what smells like um, rosemary. Is it lavender? I hope it's rosemary. But if it's lavender, it's okay. And then some, salt and pepper okay so magic of tv everything is chopped up we're going to warm up that oil first going to put the onions in it and let those get nice and soft I'm going to watch it to make sure that it doesn't burn. I'm going to show you one trick with the garlic. So, do you ever get garlic that you're know, like, ah, it takes so long to peel the, the, peel it. This is a easy trick. You just, you, you press it with your, um, your knife. Can you hear the onion sizzling? I'm going to chop that. Add the garlic. Oh, that smells good. Put that in there. Okay. Oops. 
chicken broth, Maybe bone broth, use whatever you have. simmer it and then come on later and I'll show you the next one. Oh, wait, wait. One more thing. Two, three more things. Sprig of rosemary, whole sprig. At the end, make sure I remember to pull it out before I blend it. We don't want little pieces of that. We just don't want the wonderful scent. We want a little bit of salt. I'm not going to put too much just in case. One of my, actually, at least two of my sisters are watching their blood pressure. So, I'm not going to put too much salt and a little bit of pepper. It's my sister's more, more pepper. They like it spicy. And if you didn't catch uh, um, all the ingredients, don't worry. I'm going to give you an entire list of items that you need so you can just print it out and use it when you go to if you're going to go to the grocery store to purchase these things okay i'll see you later after it boils and we're um you'll see what else i'm going to add to this bye okay so what are we going to do with all those that leftover celery i could either use it to make another recipe i don't feel like cooking that much more right now so i'm just going to cut them up and add some peanut butter on it on on these uh, stick um leftover uh celery sticks that'd be a nice little um sweet snack for my sons and then what am i going to serve with the soup well I just i happen to have a loaf of sourdough bread so i'm going to Wrap that up so it doesn't get stale and warm it up in the oven. What am I going to serve with the bread? Well, for, for my boys, just, just plain butter. They're going to be fine with that. For my sisters, I'm going to get, um, use warm up some brie in the microwave this is so easy and i got a double cream um brie that's double cream it's not too expensive but it's still yummy um whatever you have at aldi's or schnooks or whole foods but make sure it's at least double cream okay that's going to be just a little bit better i'm going to put that in a microwave oh look what i found there's a candle. Okay, so this is a little helpful hint. My candle burnt down all the way to the end. 
So I pulled out the wick, um, what would have been the wick on the bottom of the wick is that little metal piece, pulled that out, and then I put it in the microwave and it, um, the, the wax softens and makes your kitchen smell good. If you don't pull out that little metal in there, you'll get sparks in your microwave. So I did that earlier. Okay, so I'm going to, let's, let's see what one minute does. And then, real easy, I got these at all these also. They're um, dried and sweet cranberries and glazed walnuts. It's sold as a salad topping. That, you know, it was on sale, so I just picked it up. Um, you can buy the walnuts um, separately, cranberries separately, and then toss the, the walnuts in butter and brown sugar to glaze them. Or if you're gonna be lazy like me, just buy them pre-packed. So after the uh, brie gets warm, you're gonna sprinkle it on top and it's gonna be delicious um, to dive into and um, spread on the sourdough bread if you want something a little bit sweet. Okay, so I'm not gonna continue microwaving that because my sisters aren't coming over in for another hour and I gotta pick up Campbell from college. Um, he's just, he's just um, 20 minutes away. But um, later on, we'll see if both the boys and the, my sisters like this meal. We're not quite finished yet. It's, it's still, it's gonna simmer for a while while I go pick up Campbell, and then you'll see what happens when I blend it. Okay, see you later. Hello, so I am back. Um, picked up Campbell from Umsol. Um, by the way, Campbell is one of my twins. He was diagnosed with cancer when he was three and a half. He did 130 weeks of chemotherapy, and now he is at a great program at UMSL called Succeed. It helps um, young adults after they, with intellectual or developmental um, challenges, um, become independent, and they can take college classes at UMSL and live in the dorms. Um, so, um, while the soup was simmering, I went to pick them up. So it is, the soup is really hot now. And one thing you have to remember is don't do this next step while the soup is piping hot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some chicken broth that is just room temperature. I'm gonna add it to the soup so it's no longer piping hot. And now I am going to blend it so all the beans and carrots and celery gets nice and smooth and it'll be a creamy, nice creamy thick soup. Um, if you blend it when it's piping hot, um, you could easily burn yourself. I, I, burnt, I burnt this arm um, doing that and so now I always remember because um, I'm not patient enough now to let it cool down. So I just use room temperature um, soup, room temperature broth to make it um, safe, okay? Oh, another thing you have to remember is pull that rosemary out. You do not want little um, pieces of the rosemary, okay? Here we go. chunks still. Um, I, I like soup that's a little bit chunkier. Um, if you want to blend it longer um, so it's nice and smooth and thick, um, just blend it longer. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to, this isn't in the recipe either. I, I cook like I make art when I, I feel like oh, I need something just a little bit special. So since my sisters are coming over, I am going to put a, um, a, a, some, some ginger in it. It just gives it a little bit more pizzazz. And actually, my, one of my sisters gave me this um, spice. It's a good option instead of adding more salt. It's called Superhero Spice. It has onion powder, ginger root, um, turmeric, um, thyme, and uh, cider vinegar. So if you don't have superhero spice, um, you can put all those all those other spices in separately. Or what you know? What do you have in your um, in in your cupboard? You know, experiment. I'm gonna put a little of that. Blend it a little bit more. my sister soup so uh, if you remember I um, put some sourdough bread into the oven I'm putting it in 325 um, I am for dessert um, I made um, pumpkin brownies yesterday look at that someone's been eating the pumpkin brownies already but my sisters will still like it. Okay, so that's gonna be the dessert. And then to drink, what would go good with this? I made some chai iced tea, yum. So I put a bunch of bags in the pitcher of water yesterday, put in the refrigerator, and it's just been soaking in there. Um, and, and then I pulled out the bags um, this morning. So, ooh, that smells good. Chai iced tea. And um, what else should I serve this with? Oh, gotta make it pretty. I'm gonna slice up some green apples to go with that. What a delicious spread. So not only is this soup, um, good for constipation, um, uh, change of taste, or accident loss, accidental loss of weight. Um, but it's also good for entertaining. Um, and this, this recipe is in this book, What to Eat During Cancer Treatment. 100 great tasting, family friendly recipes to help you cope. So. Uh, if you enjoyed um, seeing this video, I teach classes at the Cancer Support Community Live sometimes. So um, check the calendar. You can either attend virtually or in person now. Yay! We're doing some in, um, some in person classes again. And look for more um, videos. I'm also doing videos for um, some art activities, inspirational art activities. So thanks so much for watching this video and I'll have a great day. Bye.